Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of Talk Football. Since I had such good reviews about my previous videos about Francisco Trincao, which is right over here in the cards, I've decided to bring to you a very similar video and this one is about Lutaro Martinez. We know that it is a big possibility that Lutaro will swap Inter for Barcelona this season and so in this video, I'll talk about the player's statistics, his key strength, his style of play and his probable lineup at FC Barcelona along with Messi, Suarez and Griezmann. But before I get into any of that guys, do drop a thumbs up on this video and subscribe if you haven't up till now as our journey to 1000 subscribers continues. And so without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. Alright, welcome back guys. Now let's focus our attention on this highly rated 22 year old Argentinian who is having a phenomenal season at Inter Milan. With his partnership with Romelu Lukaku, Lutaro has managed to score 11 times in 22 games in Serie A and had 5 goals in 6 games in the Champions League before being relegated to the Europa League. Lutaro came to light when Inter paid 25 million euros to racing club last summer. He has been a standout performer for the Italian side and has grown into a regular starter. Now let's have a look at his basic attributes. Valued at 64 million euros by the transfer market, he has a release clause of 111 million euros Standing at 1.74 meter tall, the right-footed striker is that deadly goal scorer. He might not be so pacey but has an acceleration of a Ferrari. He is an explosive player with 3.9 shots per game, 0.9 key passes per game, with an accuracy of 60%. He has 1.2 aerial ones, 1.3 dribbles and 2.9 bad touches per game. Talking about his key strengths, number 1. Finishing Number 2. Quick shooting Lutaro somehow seems to have an understanding of when and how to shoot, keeping the ball low and into the corner. Number 3. Pressing Number 4. Positioning and movement on and off the ball Number 5. Heading and Athleticism And now let's take a look at his playing style. Unlike most of the strikers, Lutaro is very intelligent when it comes to attacking and scoring goals. He is great at counter attacks and that probably is one of the reasons why Barcelona is so interested in him. Although he still isn't very effective in his passing with a start just touching 60% success rate, he is also a hothead who commits too many fouls but in spite of that, he is a striker that most defenders don't want to face. It's mostly because he is unpredictable. We know that Suarez has been a revelation for Barcelona since joining from Liverpool in 2014. We all questioned him, his playing style, his way of movement and he also had been involved in too many nail-biting events. Despite that, Suarez has been for me, one of the best signings in the history of Barcelona. He is a striker who is deadly with his touches, his dummies and off the ball movement. His understanding of football could be seen in every match but I remember this one very specifically when he blocked the defender when Messi took a shot at the last minute of El Clasico in 2017. If he hadn't done that, well this wouldn't have been an iconic picture. So why I suddenly drifted off to Suarez while talking about Lutaro? The reason is Lutaro is the only player as close as Suarez Barca shall find. With the Uruguayan getting old and goals depleting and injuries creeping in, Barcelona need a number 9 and even Suarez has spoken out on this issue. The understanding of Suarez and Messi is unparalleled. You cannot buy that. That's, that's real football. And that's why I and all the clues out here know why Lutaro is a must buy for Barcelona even more so than Neymar. He has played several times for Argentina along with Leo Messi. And Messi also has shown his admiration towards him. With that being said, let's take a look at how Lutaro likes to play. He is an explosive striker with the stamina of a bull. He just keeps on running when the opposition has the ball. His pressing is intense. If the opposition defenders are circulating the ball, he tends to press hard at them. And under pressure, they end up making errors. His pressing up front unsettles the defender, forcing them into making quick decisions. And he is there to pounce if they chose wrongly. In addition to that, Lutaro is quick to change his roles during the transition between attacking and defending, trying to win the ball as soon as losing the position. Lutaro's off-the-ball movement is superb. When his team has the ball, the striker tries to blindside the covering defender and makes run into the spaces. He also often bursts into the open pitch, alerting his players for a long through ball. Although not being that tall, he has an excellent upper body strength and athleticism he also twists and turns, uprooting and wrong-footing the defender. Lutaro is a sharpshooter. His best ability is to quickly take shots from any given position and any given angle. His goal against Barcelona is a perfect example of his composed finishing even being unbalanced and falling on the ground. 
Lutaro, like Suarez, is a striker. Although biting not his major asset, Lutaro has excellent on-the-ball composure and makes most of the opportunity he gets. He often looks to exploit gaps in opposition defence, create chances out of nothing. So, to sum it up, Lutaro is a predator in front of goal. He smells blood every time he goes on to counter-attack. With Messi behind him, we can expect a deadly combo once again at Barcelona. He excels at driving quick shots, keeping it directed towards one of the corners. He is good in air and comfortable with all kinds of ball control and even volleys. He likes to press opposition defenders hard, forcing them into errors and then makes the most of the chances and create goal scoring opportunities. Lutaro's off the ball movement is also very impressive. And now let's take a look into the final part of this video, lineup options at Barcelona. But before talking about that, I have a slight request from all our viewers to drop a like and subscribe to this channel as we want to head to a thousand subscribers and 4000 watch hours that will help us monetize our video. This will in turn help our top football community improve the equipments and other stuffs required for regular video production and bring you amazing videos. So Lutaro at Barcelona will surely be seen as a striker not on the wings. He would definitely won't be used much in his first season if Suarez stays and stays fit. Personally, I'd want Suarez to stay and this will help Lutaro learn better. I can see Kike Setien use his default 4-3-3 formation with Lutaro as the main striker, Messi as the free roam on the right and Griezmann or Dembele on the left. We can expect these two to exchange their position throughout the game. But in the early days, I think Suarez will be preferred instead of the Argentinian and he will mostly come on as a substitute and in the next few seasons, we can really see him cementing his place as one of the best Barcelona strikers ever. Thank you for watching the video guys, let me know your views in the comment section down below. I'll see you next time, until then, peace out.